Richard Southern joins us once again this hour. Hey, Richard. The I was on Speaker's Corner back in the day. Did you Were know you? that, <laughs> Yes. Uh, I did not know that. Uh, late, late 90s. Oh, yeah. And uh, what, what were you ranting about? I was ranting. City, uh, City TV used to do the um, New Year's Eve bash at Nathan Phillips Square for many years. Yes. And so I was in there every, you know, always the the city news fan, always the TV critic. I was in there kind of critiquing what I thought of <laughs> City's uh, broadcast, and they put some clips on. But that was like Did the Did you give them a good show. review? I, I remember the Devil's Advocates were on there. They were funny guys. <laughs> Bare Naked Ladies kind of yes. got their start in there. It was such a unique part of Toronto Speaker's Corner, so I'm so glad it's kind of back and away, Janella. Yeah, it should be interesting. Okay. The summer weather has arrived, and we're getting another reminder of summer, even with this pandemic. John Tory, Mayor of Toronto today, said that the uh, ice cream trucks can return legally to the streets of Toronto. I know, you've probably seen some out there. They were operating <laughs> illegally. Oops. Now they can come back, and we can finally get our uh, delicious uh, sweet treats now that the weather has heated up. Begs the question, though, Janeller, now, now that we can use the ice cream truck, what are we going to order? I put a poll on my Twitter account, at Richard680 News, and a, a cone, a regular cone or a dip cone, not surprisingly, leading the way. We got a strawberry sundae as uh, second place. Rocket popsicle, a very close third, followed by an either a drumstick or a creamsicle. Where are you on this debate, Janella? I'm, I'm in, the, in the majority. I do the, uh, the chocolate dip with vanilla. Uh, well, see, the, uh, the other items you can get from a grocery store or a convenience store, you can't get the soft serves. So I really feel you got to go with the soft serve. That's serve. what you got to go for. The second one yeah. I go for is like a cookie sandwich, an ice cream sandwich cookie. But as you said, I can get that in the grocery store. <laughs> First batch of ice cream, by the way, commercial ice cream made in Toronto on Gladstone Avenue in 1893. Wasn't until the 1950s that the typical ice cream truck arrived. There's a bit of history for you, Janella. Good to know. I say this is the news we needed. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> this is the news we needed this week. Okay, uh, we flashed back to Speaker's Corner. Let's flash way back <laughs> to the day when... about 110 when... <laughs> million years back? <laughs> only a couple, that? only a couple hundred million, uh, to when dinosaurs roamed the Earth. And we're getting some new research on what they ate, what they ate before they met their demise. Was it ice cream? I don't think so. <laughs> no, there was, there was no rocket popsicles, Janella. Yeah. Uh, there was a lot of vegetables, though. So they found this dinosaur called the Borella Pella, I believe it's pronounced, I in like Alberta. They actually found it in a, in a Suncor oil mine. They were digging it out, and they found this dinosaur. And it turns out it's, there it is, it's artist oh. representation. <laughs> its stomach contents were, like, perfectly preserved. And what did they find in this 110-million-year-old dinosaur? What's that? Turns out he was eating 88% leaf material and 7% stems and twigs. Specifically, Janella, we have a list here. He was he had in his stomach 13 different varieties of flowerless plants, uh, two varieties of flowering plants. He had some digestive stones that he had eaten. Stones. And he also had some burnt plant fragments in there, meaning that this guy was probably eating some scorched earth that huh. might have been scorched by lightning. Interesting that an animal that big was surviving on a vegetarian diet, on a plant-based diet. <laughs> he, he's actually eating a lot better than I am, quite frankly. <laughs> Lots Our... of fruits and veggies. All right. Thanks so much, Richard. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.